you've heard people wax poetic about their Magicraft Rose spinning wheels, and you've wondered, what is it about this wheel that makes it so special? Magicraft has outdone themselves with this wheel. They have loaded it with innovative design features and beautiful aesthetic details that really make this wheel stand out as the premier handcrafted spinning wheel. This video and the other videos I'm gonna be releasing in this playlist are gonna show you everything that there is to know about the Magicraft Rose spinning wheel, what makes it so special, and why it's a must have for every discriminating hand spinners collection. I'm Jennifer Johnson of Whispering Pines Farm. My husband and I raise a wonderful flock of soft Shetland sheep here on our farm in Western New York. And I'm also an authorized Magicraft dealer. And I've made it my mission to stock all the products in the Magicraft line here on the farm in New York so that you, the hand spinner, have access to the tools and equipment you need when the inspiration strikes. If you scroll down into the description section of this video, you'll see a link to the listing for the Magicraft Rose spinning wheel that I have in my shop. And you can click on that link to get more detail information about the Magicraft Rose. Before I go any further, I want to thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I hope that it's helpful to you in some way. And you can help me by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons on the bottom of the video as I try to reach a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of September. So let's get started with the Magicraft Rose. I'm incredibly excited to be doing this particular wheel because I actually own a 2002 Magicraft Rose, kind of the grandma of the new 2021 that I'll be unboxing today. So I'm really interested to see some of the differences and just really dig into learning more about the new version of the Magicraft Rose. I'm going to be unboxing it in this video, but make sure you come back to the playlist because I will also have a video of assembly and then I'll be videoing myself spinning it with different um, accessories and attachments. And then I'll do a little segment that compares the 2021 Magicraft rows with my 2002 rows, just to sort of see some of the differences. So thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's dig in. I'm so jazzed about doing this. Take off the top foam. All right, here she is, so beautiful. So, first of course always is the uh, instruction manual and then the little um, bag of gift items that come with the rose. And um, before I go any further, let me just strongly recommend that when you unbox your wheel, your new wheel for the first time, video yourself doing it from the aerial view because when it comes time for you to pack it back up for whatever reason, it's really handy to have the kind of the documentation of how it was put in here by the factory because they know how to pack these things so that they don't get damaged. Okay, so first comes the base. This is the base of the rose. It has an uh, engraved Magicraft logo on the base. And on the back side, we have it signed by Mrs. Glennis Pode. And it is in fact a rose. And then there's the serial number right underneath there which is what you want to use when you go to the Magicraft site to register. Register your wheel so that they have uh, your wheel on record. They know who has it. They know when they look back what version it was, what vintage. And then also if they need to do any warranty work or anything, it's just it's a really good idea to register your wheel. Another suggestion I want to make is when you unbox your wheel, do it on a table, make some space for yourself. Don't do it on the floor. It's just kind of uncomfortable over time. And it's just nice to have a good work surface. I actually use a sheep's hide to set the parts on when they um, come out so that they don't get scratched. And then of course I've got all my shelving back here for the smaller pieces that I can conveniently set them. I believe this is the hardware kit probably. Indeed. So now this is the bag with all of your fasteners, the bobbin rods, there's some Allen wrenches, an orifice tool, the drive band. So, a bit, you know, just your hardware kit. So we're going to set this aside and then when we do the assembly, we'll make sure we've got all the parts um, to make sure as they compare with the 
manual. So this is flyer number one that comes with the Magicraft Rose Wheel. It's a standard flyer. This is the standard fine flyer is what it's called. And you can know it's a standard fine flyer because it has the open flyer hook, the open guides, one on each side, and then a ceramic lined orifice. So this is your standard fine flyer. Magicraft supplies a Delta flyer with the rose wheel. So again, really give a lot of thought to the ideal and optimal spinning kit for a hand spinner. The Delta flyer is really nice because you can um, spin bulkier stuff because there, it's, there's no thin orifice for the fiber to travel through. Two open guides and then a open flyer. This is really easy to to you know to initially feed the fiber through when you start. So there's your Delta flyer, also comes standard with the rose. This is the faster pulley that comes with the rose. So you get two pulleys with your rose, a slow and a, a fast. And that's how you get so many, such a nice range of ratios. Here is sort of the heart of the operation. This is your crank assembly. That's the metal part. Con rods, they're metal or wood, excuse me. Not sure why I said that. Beautiful wooden cod rods. Your rubber joiners. So this is pretty important. Kind of the piece that makes the wheel go round, as they say. The rose comes with four black plastic bobbins, beautiful lacy lotus design on the flange of the bobbins. They've got holes in the cores in case you want to set your bobbin, your loaded bobbin in your die bath. And brake band grooves on both flanges. So a lot of flexibility here. And nice and light, much lighter than the original plastic bobbins that came with my 2002 wheel. So this is definitely an improvement. So you get four of those. And this is the standard size bobbin. Now, you know, Magicraft offers a jumbo bobbin as well, and you can We'll talk about that when we go into some of the accessories. Here's the bobbin they must have used for the testing. Nice little piece of fiber spun up on there. They assemble and test every wheel before they ship them. Give them the quality check. Mm, so nice. Okay, so here's our spinning head. And the spinning head comes with your flyer rod. That's this metal shaft here. And then here's your brake band, tension knob, your tension spring, and your brake band. It's all ready to go. It smells really good. That's one of the things I'm loving about doing all of these unboxings is the beautiful wood varnish smell that wafts up as you proceed with the unboxing. What could this be? I think this is the Laurel, right? The part we haven't seen yet. This is the large diameter, also known as the slow Laurel. Comes with the rose as part of the standard kit. It's the slowest gear ratio of all the Magicraft Whorls. And these are this available. You can purchase this as a separate whirl if you have uh, a need for a sp slower spinning on one of your other wheels. Comes standard with the rose. Now this little jobber is something I'm particularly excited about with this acquisition of the wheel. And this is the Bobbin Carrier slash Lazy Kate. And we will be assembling this when we assemble the wheel. It has the beautiful engraved rose a little peg to hold your whorl, your spare whorl, because we have two of them. 
and then this handy magnet to put your Allen wrench, your two millimeter Allen wrench for when you want to switch out your whorl. Drum roll, please. There she is. So this is your stem. Your stem assembly and your drive wheel for the Magic Craft Rose. Beautiful. And the Magic Craft Rose is handcrafted from Rimu wood, which is the uh, indigenous wood from New Zealand, sustainably harvested and then, like I said, handcrafted to make this just beautiful spinning wheel. So that's the unboxing. Makes this beautiful still life of all these wonderful items that are going to be put together to make my gorgeous Magicraft Rose wheel. So I'm super, super thrilled. And there it is.